ladies and gentlemen good day and welcome to the q1 fy22 23 earnings conference call of pnb housing finance limited as a reminder all participant lines will be in listen only mode and there will be an opportunity for you to ask questions after the presentation concludes should you need assistance during the conference call please signal an operator by pressing star then zero on your touchstone phone please note that this conference is being recorded i now hand the conference over to ms deepika gupta padi thank you and over to you ma'am thank you steven good evening and welcome everyone we are here to discuss pnb housing finance q1 fy2223 results you must have seen our business and financial numbers in the presentation and the press release shared with the indian stock exchanges and is also available on our website with me we have our entire management team across verticals sitting over here led by mr hadyal prasad managing director and ceo we will begin this call with the performance update by the managing director and ceo followed by an interactive q&a session please note this call may contain forward looking statements to exemplify our judgment and future expectations concerning the development of our business these forward looking statements involve risk and uncertainties that may cause actual developments and results to differ materially from our expectations pnb housing finance undertakes no obligation to publicly revise any forward looking statement to reflect future events or circumstances a detailed disclaimer is on slide 34 of the investor presentation with that i will now hand over the call to mr hadyal prasad over to you thank you deepika good evening everyone and a welcome to our q1 fy 2023 results on behalf of the company i extend a very warm welcome to all of you let me start with the business update as we communicated about our focus on the retail segment we registered disbursement growth of 96% during the quarter as compared to the same quarter previous year we disbursed 3451 crores in q1 fy23 with retail segment contributing 98% of the total disbursements during the quarter the company disbursed gross amount of 76.5 crore under the co-lending which is in 2080 ratio we are also in discussion with other banks for co-lending arrangements on loan assets retail loans registered growth of 2% yoy and 1% sequentially to rupees 50294 crores as on 30th june 2022 The corporate loan asset declined by 45% YOY to 6,006 crores as on 30th June 2022 on account of sell down and accelerated prepayments. The loan assets for the company outstanding as on 30th June 2022 is 56,301 crores and the asset under management is at 64,849 crores. On expansion of our footprints in the affordable housing segment. We have operationalized 10 new locations during the quarter, bringing the total number of locations to 34. As of 30th June 2022, our Unmati segment AUM was 3,047 crores. Coming to our asset quality, with our continuous efforts to reduce the GNP, I am pleased to inform that our GNP on India basis reduced by 23% during the quarter, primarily on account of corporate book. The corporate book gross NPA registered a decline of 37% in Q1 FY23 to 1732 crores as compared to 2738 crores as on 31st March 2022. The decline in the corporate GNPA is on account of resolutions through change of developer accounts, closure in two accounts, ARC sell off in one account and write off in two accounts. The retail GNP declined by 3% during the quarter to 1907 crores as compared to 1968 crores as on 31st March 2022. In percentage terms the gross GNP is at 6.35% as on 30th June 2022 as compared to 8.12% as on 31st March 2022. We continue to focus on improving our asset quality going forward. As of June 30th 2022 the net NPA was at 4.26%. With the increase in the repo rate in Q1 FY22 the company passed on the increase in rates to its customers. 
the impact of increased interest rate is yet to be fully reflected in the yield. In terms of liabilities, the impact of increase in repo rate is reflected in the cost of borrowing as the overall cost of borrowing increased by 11 basis points. The company has reduced its liquidity in the books of around 3,800 crore on standalone basis as on 30th June 2022, as compared to 7,085 crore as on 30th June 2021. The profit after tax on a sequential basis basis increased by 39% to 235 crores in Q1 above number 3. The ROA is at 1.47%. In Q1 FY23, as compared to 1.24% for financial year 2022. With increased percent, percentage of retail book, it is imperative to see the ROA of the retail book. A retail book ROA over time has increased from 1.3% in FY20 to around 1.5% in Q1 FY23. The leverage has come down to 5.1 times as on 30th June 2022, from 6.33 times, as on 30th June 2021. The company is comfortably capitalized with CRAR at 23.9% and TR1 at 21.4%. The residential sector is experiencing an increase in demand, particularly in Tier 2 and Tier 3 cities. As per ITRA, the portfolio of NBS, NBFCs, HFCs, is expected to grow by 9 to 11% on account of pent-up demand and increasing level of economic activity. To leverage on this opportunity, we will continue to focus on retail lending, expand our affordable housing loan offering, improve our portfolio credit quality, and enhance efficiency through digital interventions. On the capital days, PNB has received its approval from RBI to infuse 500 crore in the rights issue of the company. Further, the company has received the final settlement order whereby issues raised with respect to the preferential issues have been settled under SEBI Settlement Proceedings Regulations 2018. The draft letter of offer is in the final stages and to be, to be filed at an appropriate time. With this, I would like to open the floor for questions and answers. We have the entire management team sitting over here to answer to your question. Questions and we welcome any question that you have, and we'll be more than happy to answer them. Thank you very much for for coming and attending this meeting. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. We will now begin the question and answer session. Anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one on the touchstone telephone. If you wish to remove yourself from the question queue, you may press star and two. Participants are requested to use handsets while asking a question. Ladies and gentlemen, we will wait for a moment while the question queue assembles. The first question is from the line of Ravi Naredi from Naredi Investments. Please go ahead give me this opportunity. Sir, you regards to all management team which you are sitting there, want to ask when PNB Housing Finance Company will revive your gross NPA 6 point
ENR is going up, uh, the NPS have come down. So I'm, I'm not saying it's a very rosy picture, but I think there is very clear direction that the company is on, on the path of recovery. Okay, all the best. Thank you very much. Thank you. A reminder to the participants, anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one at this time. The next question is from the line of Anand Mundra from Soar Wealth Management. Managers, please go ahead. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Sir, I have one question. You mentioned that you have grown in retail quarter and quarter, but is the disbursement has not grown in Q1 FI23 as compared to Q4 FI22. And I'm missing something. I just wanted to clarify that. First is actually that uh, uh, the growth has come in. You know that there is a growth and it is very clearly reflected in the numbers which you would have seen. Anyway. In terms of the disbursement that you are seeing, I think we did a very good, uh, almost about 3,700 3, crores of disbursement in, the, uh, in Q4. Now again, we have done almost about 3,400 crores. Of, this is a slower month. And if you would have looked at the results of some of the HFCs, most of them have shown almost about 20 to 40 percent decline in the numbers in comparison to Q4. We have, our decline is only 7%. And this is usually a soft period. April, May, June is actually always a soft on the, in terms of the, and any, any HFC that you look at it, you would find that the numbers come down significantly as what it was done in, 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 uh, uh, in March quarter. I think we have just had a, we had a minor blip, uh, blip in terms of the 7% decline, but we remain steadfast in terms of showing the growth. And we, uh, we, we, we are anticipating, we hope, that our growth will be approximately in the high, high single digits. So any guidance for the growth of this year with respect to displacement of the AVM, sir? Detail group only. Displacement down? So I said about say, single digit, higher single digit uh, uh, growth uh, we are expecting this year. We already yes, have grown by 1%. At it as an annualized basis, it's a 4% growth. While it, uh, the market is slow in April to uh, June, we still have an, had an annualized growth of about 4.3 or 4.4%. So going forward, there is only going to things are only going to improve. Despite the fact, there was one more thing that happened in the first quarter, and that is actually the interest rate. There are two th no, one is the interest rate, there is an increase of about 90 basis points in interest rate, which actually dampened the market to some extent. The second is that the input costs have gone up significantly. These inco input costs in the construction activity have actually increased. The 20 to 25 percent increase in the price of a property, which is also a little damning from what the uh, you know the, the general public had seen, which was amongst the lowest interest rate, lowest prices, and everything for the last year. So that was a little damning or uh, dampening. I am sure that people will come forward because still there is. If you look at the uh, mortgage. Uh, 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 mortgage market to the GDP, it is only at 10 percent. There is massive scope sitting over there in terms of the growth, and I'm sure that people are realizing and the growth will come in. And we are right now, after all the cleaning up that we have done, we are suitably placed to actually encash on that growth. So, sir, you are given a guidance of 15 percent AUM growth for the financial year FI 23 in retail. Correct? No, not 15 percent, high single digit. Uh, me. In mid ten, high single, the high single uh, digit, which is uh, anything from eight nine percent, is, is what we are looking at. Okay. I mean, high single no. digit would be seven to nine, but actually, uh, I mean, that's the okay. kind of growth that we are looking. We already have done four point three, four point four at a uh, uh, at a period which is normally very soft. Okay, so uh, tell me, uh, so uh, in market, you guys are competing with. I am assuming you are competing with likes of HFC, SBC, or ICICI Bank and other places. It's very difficult to compete with them. Their cost of funds are really low. So right what now, is the differentiation? Uh, 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 please go ahead. Please. Sorry, ma'am. Sorry, but what please is the ahead. differentiation which we bring to the table on the for the customer? Otherwise, he will definitely would like to go with a larger bank, which may offer better products or better pricing as compared to us. We are, are focusing on, on, we are not focusing on that segment. A so couple, couple of things I'm going to do. One is today, for the best customer, who has, say, about 800 plus civil score, my interest rates and the competitor's interest rates are almost at the same. 7.5, 7.55 is what I also quote and they are also quoting. So as far as the, uh, you know, the, 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 the class of customer that we are looking at it, the salaries and others who normally go over there, we still have interest rates which are pretty, pretty competitive. 
so that is one thing that actually so i am i am in the competition and that is why i am growing the second is that my actually ability to underwrite self employed and nhl is far superior than any of the bank so even if i actually this, uh, this quarter if it has been a little slow i will ensure that this, these capabilities that we have in terms of delivering saint nobody can deliver in about 3 3 and a half days we we actually have not only deliver it but we aspire to deliver it in 3 to 3 and a half days four days to a self employed uh, uh, person if he is applying for a loan i think these make us very very distinctive in terms of the way we deliver it so if the interest rates if the interest rates are competitive if my delivery is good people will come to me otherwise what was happening because of the speed of my delivery people were coming to me but then after 3 months to 6 months i was i was i was realizing that people were running off from me the portfolio would shift somebody would take over because you want a loan today i was able to give it the bank was taking a month to give it so he takes a loan from me but he comes back to me after 3 months and says i want actually to move on to some other bank that that we have completely arrested not completely we have significantly arrested almost it is uh, 60% down uh, uh, 7 to 4 uh, or 60% going down so we are out limit that number that we have significantly reduced the runoffs so i think these are two things because of the interest rates we are copying the sharpness which with the sales is actually entering into the dma relationship the apf relationship the salary we are our salary is doing very well we are actually increasing our salary significantly which actually delivers the delivery is also for the risk also so, so i, I think sorry sir how, sir how much is the balance transfer for this quarter sir earlier it used to be 18% for the year uh balance from asked to from asked to 9% 9% so i told you during the covid the problem the issue was that earlier everybody was quoting very high interest rates the differential between me and the others used to be about 50 basis point about the best of the banks during the covid when the interest rates regime started coming down the differential went up to almost about 1% of 100 basis point to 150 basis point and that was the reason why the numbers that you are giving had resulted into that we took up because because there are so many things happening on our portfolio we we wanted profitability we wanted to ensure that the uh, that the company remains steadfast the moment we realized that it is time for us to go back to the market we have actually paired the interest rates which are very competitive with the market and that is the reason why this has come down significantly so 9% is for what period should no annualized quarter this quarter this quarter this quarter annualized this quarter annualized the 9 is annualized which would mean how much yes, so approximately 2.25% Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. Particular quarter. Uh, okay. So uh, another thing uh, which is very important for the growth is the right issue. When do you? What is the pricing for the right issue, sir? Why it is keeping kept in suspense for all the minority shareholders? So one is on the on March ninth, the, the the board has approved the capital raise of two thousand five hundred through the rights issue, and that's the public knowledge. Now, what has subsequently is that PNB has also received RBI's approval to participate in the rights issue, and that they have done is uh, approval is for 500 crores, which again has been announced, and they would hold the shareholding at 30 percent, but above 26 percent, or uh, below 30 percent, but above 26 percent. This is the second thing, which is one of the most significant uh, thing that has happened. That this time they were able to get approval. Last time they were not able to get approval. The third is.
but we have also now a head of the unnati which is the chief sales officer who is looking after the unnati she has joined about a month back over here and we are putting in place complete we are revamping the whole product in terms of the policy. and she comes with almost about 10 15 years 20 20 26 years of experience in the mortgage industry and about 10 years to 15 years experience only on the affordable piece so the the team is being assembled the policy changes are being done because affordable obviously we realize is a very different thing than what we were doing in, in terms of that so the unnati portfolio is actually going to be completely different so that churning was taking place during this quarter and we hope to add, go ahead and start booking the business as early as maybe september completely new approval uh, matrix that is that, that is being defined and how it is going to be rolled out of the ticket sizes on the uh, on the eligibility norms a lot of things are going ahead and that is the reason why that slowed down to some extent you said i understood that so uh, if there was a 140 crore disbursement but aum should have grown by at least 50 60 crores net of repayments why there is a degrowth in aum by 50 crores Crores. So uh, actually, what has happened is though we have done the press disbursement of 140, 142 crores, but uh, our run-up on the unnati we have seen slight run-up on the unnati, and hence, uh, as Sir has also mentioned that our MD has mentioned that we are going through the transformation in unnati business. We are scaling it up. We are we are redesigning the entire model. Hence, the business that we are doing as usual was on a slow slow down uh, method, and at the same time, the attrition was a bit higher. Uh, how much was the run off sir how much was the run off the new unnati that we are going to do run off in the quarter 1 on unnati portfolio was 25% on annualized basis yeah uh, good evening this is valli shekhar i am heading the uh, you know affordable housing piece here uh, currently in the unnati product what we were concentrating was in the lines of priority sector lending where our loan amount was in the range of th- up to 35 lakhs but the actual affordable housing would be like the ews lig1 and lig2 which the government prescribes which would be in a average uh, you know uh, loan rate of uh, up approximately 9 to 10 lakhs since we were doing this loans up to 35 lakhs we were seeing significantly a lot of run off in this uh, in this loan portfolio as far as affordable housing is concerned the run off is generally in the range of 4 to 5% only so completely we are revamping the entire product policy procedures and we are completely coming in line with the actual affordable housing market so you will see a turnaround in the product and in the policy and procedures in maybe by the end of next quarter and from uh, october you will be seeing numbers growing in this as per the actual affordable housing uh, policy in the market thanks and very competitive products competitive interest rates and uh, the delivery and everything is going to be actually then you can compare that particular portfolio with the uh, affordable or the you know the the other competitors who are there in the market doing similar kind of business with a ticket size as anything between 8 lakhs to about 15 lakhs so sir what what is the trend in unity portfolio Your voice is actually. Uh, so, what is the gross yield? I just wanted to understand, sir. If there is a twenty-five percent runoff, uh, what is the main reason for that? Quarter is six percent actually. Six point two five makes it. Ha, six point two five percent for three months. I'm just wondering, sir. Uh, these guys have portfolio has moved. It has moved to bank, or it has moved to some other NBC or HFC. Where moved? Yeah, banks. banks to the banks. ठीक है सर थैंक्स थैंक्स अ लॉट सर एक्चुअली व्हाट हैपेंस इज सम ऑफ द बैंक्स सडनली बिकम वेरी एग्रेसिव इन टर्म्स ऑफ द प्रायोरिटी स्पेशली व्हेन दे हैव अ शॉर्टफॉल इन द प्रायोरिटी सेक्टर लेंडिंग दे बिकम वेरी एग्रेसिव इन टर्म्स ऑफ एक्चुअली कैप्चरिंग दैट बिजनेस एंड इट इज एट दैट स्टेज दैट पोर्टफोलियो स्टार्ट मूविंग हियर एंड देयर इवन व्हेन एक्चुअली द ऑन द को लेंडिंग साइड व्हेन वी गो एंड टॉक देयर आर वेरियस वेज इन व्हिच द बैंक्स आर लुकिंग एट इट सम ऑफ देम आर लुकिंग एट प्रायोरिटी सेक्टर सम ऑफ देम आस्क फॉर सेल्फ एम्प्लॉयड सम ऑफ देम सेड आई वांट एनएचएल 
So it's a different mix of the portfolio that the, that particular bank would like to build to ensure that to, to actually give a guidance that this is the kind of portfolio I would like to accept under the co-lending platform. So whenever there is a shortfall in the priority sector lending, it is when actually we will see this kind of effort. But what Wali is mentioning is that it is normally about 4%. So there is a little uptick between four and six percent. So two percent is actually that additional delta on the um, uh, on the Unnati platform. Okay. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Krishnendu Saha from Quantum AMC. Please go ahead. Yeah, most of the question has been answered. Thank you. But just uh, uh, just on the Unnati Unnati. This thing, if I can ask, uh, what has been the the GNP over there? What has been the change? You know, just on the order key. See the uh, predominantly the only key uh, after this COVID impact, it is uh, 200, 150 odd bits higher than the. You know what uh, uh, in general we are facing now. So it is in the range of uh, delinquency is around uh, three three percent and around. Three percent is the number. Okay. Uh, okay. So and another and thing that we are doing it is actually we are revamping the whole collection system of Unnati, and uh, we are setting up a complete infrastructure right from the ground only for collection of Unnati because that is much more rigorous collection process and other things. We anticipate that not only the new portfolio that we are going to build will actually the collection will take place of that and the delinquency is kept low. But this existing also we are very, very sure with this new Unnati uh, vertical coming up, it will also look at the existing delinquency of the Unnati portfolio. So one is the existing Unnati and then the new Unnati kind of portfolio that we are going to build and both of them should see after maybe uh, just as uh, Wali mentioned that you will start seeing some traction somewhere around October, November, the disbursement will start but the traction that you will see with maybe from December onwards, you will find that there is a traction coming up in the business as well as in the collection machinery. Sure. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. A reminder to the participants, anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one at this time. The next question is from the line of Nikhil Walecha from Franklin Templeton. Please go ahead. Uh, thanks for giving me the opportunity. Uh, sir, uh, you have shared um, GS3 as per India's. Is it possible to share the GNP under the IREC? No, we don't maintain it in the IREC. We maintain it under the POS we can. I mean, the, the IGAP kind of, but through the, only the POS we can get. The India's actually also based in the interest rate. But now we, we are uh, uh, monitoring it only for the India's. There, yeah, it, 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 it actually the uh, the interest actually component is added to it. Okay. If you want to uh, give you those numbers also. There is there would be a differential of about hundred to how much would be the differential? Three hundred crore. Three hundred crore. Okay. In the I guess.
we have actually written off is the vintage accounts only uh, you know which are a large exposure 244 to 420 and 425 crore exposure we have written off after the, uh, you know applying all the resolution strategies that we are having so the reduction is mainly because of those three four accounts where one is uh, we utilize some when the it was sold to the arc and two write offs are there they were fully provided accounts so that that has been used and uh, there has been some decline in the npas of even of uh, uh, you know 100 crores of uh, retail so that is all the primary reason otherwise it's not that that we have actually deliberately reduced the uh, reduced the uh, provisions okay and sir earlier you used to share um, um, gnp of uh, segment wise um so construction finance lab can you share it uh, now like how it is how it is trending i don't think that we were, we were only annually we were doing it uh, we have not done it quarterly but uh, uh, i think what we'll what we'll do is that uh, uh, dipika will get in touch with you the investor relations department and they will actually share some numbers with you okay thanks and uh, if i look at the yeah the retail the retail and corporate gnp is shared in the presentation you can have a look at slide number 16 Which gives the NPA for retail as well as for corporate. Actually, now yeah, increasingly mean, we are bringing the focus on the retail because we have already stopped doing the corporate. So obviously, the corporate there is no no new loan that is being sanctioned. So the no loan no new loan is being sanctioned. The NPA if the account becomes an NPA percentage terms, it will look very very uh, you know scary. But the point is on the retail side, it is very important that whether we are able to actually manage and bring down the NPAs on the retail side, and I think we have uh, that's where we have worked towards reducing it. Understood. And sir, if I look at the spreads, uh, it's at one point four percent, which is I think all time low, and I think region that you mentioned is quite. Low. uh i can understand that there is a heightened competitive intensity but on the uh, incremental basis also if i look at the or um the incremental cost i think it's closer to 7.5% based on the recent ncds uh so what are the incremental spreads uh, that uh, you are working at the uh, spread we are looking at is more uh, around uh, 1.5 uh, 1.6 type so and how it will come about is that you know we have uh, instituted increase in our lending rate by 35 basis point which has been captured in the quarter and another 50 basis which will come in july to september where our cost of uh, borrowing will not go up to that extent simply because we have certain fixed rate liabilities as well so we will add to the spread spread will slightly increase one thing is there that our in this quarter the uh, cost of borrowings have actually gone up only by 11 basis point because of the mix of our borrowing that we have and in terms of the yield because we are actually focused now only on the retail it's going to be very different than what you would have looked at so traditionally if you start looking and comparing it with that that those yields were coming from uh, assets which were again uh, you know very high yielding interest rate very high yielding now it is only going to be uh, the retail loans with the retail loans with more and more focus on the retail loans obviously we'll have to start living with the spreads which are uh, on the retail side and we when he talks about 1.55 to 1.6 it is basically the retail that is there is no pump in those understood and just a final question from my side is uh, as you you know we will do a fresh cap uh, um uh, uh, raise then I, i think our tier 1 will again increase and roe will further reduce so unless and until you know we increase our growth to say 25% 30% level uh, it would not improve uh, substantially so can you give some medium to long term guidance like how are we looking at say 3 4 years am growth or how are we looking at the roe from the 3 to 4 year perspective we to i mean we have we have submitted it to the regulators also but uh, uh we are going to uh, listen uh, first of all we still have a large book it's not that we still have the third largest uh, hft and we have a large book 
so a small company with about 5000 10000 crores of au i mean it's very easy for them to say i've grown but what uh, you know 20% and all that stuff for us it is just a little challenging because at 50000 60000 crores to grow so when i say that we are going to be on high numbers even if i say 5000 we have there 9% 10% it translates into 5 6000 crores of growth straight away uh, so that is what uh, we are looking at we are looking at high numbers this year in high single digit and obviously going forward these numbers will improve i think we are in a sweet spot in terms of the uh, it's a cyclical industry and we are in a sweet cycle where for the next 4 5 years i be anticipate that the going is going to be good on the on the mortgage industry so the going is good there is no reason for an hfc especially when it has cleaned up its books when it is ready to go it is demonstrating in the two quarters that it is actually growing it to to actually go ahead and start and especially another another very significant thing is that in next two years you would also find that this unnati which is a new unnati kind of affordable kind of unnati that will start kicking in even if it doesn't give me a very high aum but it still gives huge amount of uh, uh, you know advantage in terms of the spreads in terms of the uh, the margins and the nii and nims and everything so that's what we are looking at it understood and so this one more question how is the co lending partnership working i think i forgot you had some co lending partners so how is the traction over there so we have already reported we have actually with one of the we have we have agreements with two two uh, uh, one private sector and one public sector organization is one private we have already given them 78 crores as with the 61 crores and, and and remaining is with us 60 20 80 20 and we have also given to the other partner also we have given a significant number of uh, uh, of files we are also in in discussions with some other players uh, with some other banks to actually provide that kind of uh, we are expecting that it's still early times because there is the straight through processing and the reason is not us some of these banks want absolutely you know a seamless integration with our system our systems are ready my apis are ready i have i've shared my apis but these banks and some of them are large banks they are not ready with their apis once those apis are integrated fully is at that stage that the flow will take place and we anticipate that the numbers will start coming in right now we are pushing the files through sftp and we are seeing that actually this dbs can be uh, uh, you know go under them i think uh, uh, with the, uh, the numbers that we have given it to the other bank we will see some traction in this co lending and so so as of now it's it's very small but uh, you expect it to pick up yes sir it all depends also i mean co lending is good we we'll have to bring in first of all my aum it, it affects my aum when i have transferred 61 crores my aum has come down by 61 crores so we have to actually pair it and see what is profitable for me what is good for me what is the customer requirement is the customer is really uh, you know very finicky about the interest rate we will have to bring in a partner where the interest rates are slightly uh, you know uh, in median uh, between the both, both the interest rates of that that organization and our our organization so it's a it's a mixed bag of how you would like to handle the co- the co lending however the co lending also provides a good opportunity for fee based income which is what we are also looking at it understood uh, thanks lots thank you The next question is from the line of Sanjeev Kumar Damani from SKD Consulting. Please go ahead. Uh, good evening, sir. Am I audible? Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, am I speaking to Hardeyal, sir? Yes, sir. Uh, sir, uh, I am very impressed uh, the way you have all answered. So I congratulate on uh, that to you, sir. My w- one first question is that I mean, can you quantify, you know, the total loan accounts that as on today you hold, or as on 30th of June? Uh, total accounts that we hold of the uh, loans given uh, to about 2.52 lakhs 2.5 lakhs people uh, i mean uh, total uh, files are 2.5 lakhs account account sir 25.5 there will be multiple accounts also multiple uh, so 2.5 lakh accounts we hold uh, 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 where we have given uh, to entities we have given loan right sir acha can i know the uh, our employee size sir as on date 
1400 are directly on our payrolls and do we have associates also working for us yeah we have another uh, on the sales side there will be approximately uh, 2000 2000 only on the no sales only because i think he is on such in the sales side 1400 people working only for the sales only for the sales but they are not sales under, and under, sales and underwriting acha uh, nahi but are they all uh, employee of the company or they are an associate no, of the no no we have a subsidiary which provides us this manpower acha acha we have a separate subsidiary where people are recruited to work for this organization that's yes, it so it saves us some cost that way sir yes. so so that yes, i was observing sir that your retail portfolio is really going up and uh, you are quite well spread into the middle of india and below down south also but uh, being a punjab national uh, housing company are you not present in north or pnb house pnb bank also does the housing finance as such sir in north area sir we are pretty strong now in north india Uh, we are we have we are across india we are at 70 plus cities we have almost 99 branches and we have also outreach offices so we are pretty strong in terms of the distribution network geographically city wise and everywhere if you look at it on the north side uh, we definitely are strong but uh, but I, i i would admit that as a pnb brand name and brand organization we still have big opportunity to encash on the on the pnb brand by actually making much bigger inroads into the market which is what we are planning and today if you look at it in the last about few few months we are seeing that there is a good traction that is coming in the north okay because uh, i was seeing traditionally that, you know, traditionally we have been very strong on the west okay traditionally uh, very strong on the west sir so so sir now now sir you know when we talk about our nps growth and all that so i mean do you feel uh, or uh, do you uh, face problem in collecting emi uh, properly uh, every month from even you know small small individuals who have taken loans from you for housing or repairing or something like that uh, are there failures uh, it is the sum total that you are showing as gross npa is largely from retail side or it is a old baggage that we are carrying of the corporate No sir, it is retail. Actually, most of the time now we are talking about the retail. Corporate is something we talk completely differently because for last two years we are doing only retail. There is no disbursement that is taking place other than few maybe a fifty crores, hundred crores of the old sanction. Now in terms of the collection efficiency, we are almost at about ninety-seven percent collection efficiency. So we are able to collect. We are able to get money. We have feet on street. We have every all arrangement. We have digital tools to actually get the money. so everything is if you provided it on our uh, on our application where a customer can come check his emi see how much money is to pay he can direct self repay us uh, by the click of a button so there is multiple ways in which we have calling centers that are there so we actually very uh, through the advanced analytics we uh, uh, you know the uh, uh, the delinquency or actually uh, you know the repayment is is split over there something goes directly to the calling center something goes to the field depending on the mattresses that we use and that is the way we actually try and save the money on the co- so the cost of collection has actually come down if you look at it there is a big difference in the way the collection is happening earlier most of the nbfcs and hfcs were actually collecting they would collect one or two uh, installments and then they would wait the next month again they would go now we are very clear that you need to remove complete irregularities So the, because the very fact that from 800 crores that we had actually on the uh, uh, you know because of the Reserve Bank of India in March we have just about 61 crores of account which are actually less than 90 days but because of the Reserve Bank of India definition we, so we are able to collect the money now and uh, that is the reason why we are able to reduce our NPS. Okay, sir. Sir, one uh, uh, fine question. You know how? Uh, uh, sorry uh, to interrupt, but for any follow-up question, may be requested to rejoin the queue, please. The next question is from the line of Aditya Doshi from Chanakya Capital. Please go ahead. Hello. Thanks for the opportunity. Uh, Mr. Doshi, if you can speak uh, through the handset, please. Your audio is very low. Hello. 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 Sir, you may please proceed. Yes, we can hear you. uh sir thanks for the opportunity i just wanted to know that our corporate portfolio has uh, though 
seventy five percent of the customers, either in the form of principal or interest outstanding, have started making the repayments. Okay. So you expect twenty five percent of the customers to, to move to stage three. Around thirty percent, yeah, two nine, yeah. Fifteen oh. percent, sorry, fifteen percent, three hundred crore. Okay. Okay. The next question. To mix the voice, I. Which had come that you, you said that they were all five things. There's nothing left, no moratorium left for anybody left, right? Hello. No. Yeah. See, as I said, around 75 percent of the customers have reverted back to the repayment stream. So another 20-23 percent of our customers are still in moratorium. Okay. Okay, I still in my view. The book that he gave, you know, the people gave a book of over 21, 2200 crores. 23 and 30 is actually the number over there. But uh, almost about 1500 to 1600, have we started the uh, the repayment. Okay. And, and uh, uh, the number that he has given of NPA also remaining would be, you know, one DPD onwards. Some some of them would be one day, 30 DPD or whatever it is. So that is being monitored completely separately in terms of the restructured. The restructured book. and the morad book is completely relooked at in the way uh, we would like that there's a big focus in terms of ensuring that these people should especially the ones who have started they should continue to actually repay and the ones where the business is coming up because we had a very large pool of self employed within this people where the business has restarted there's no reason for them not to do it so whether he's repaying it a good with us bad with others bad with others good with us uh, good with the uh, bad with me good with others we are actually looking at the portfolio Dissecting it completely, and then seeing to it that actually we reach out and we say that you have to repay to us. So if it requires a little uh, tough stance to be taken, we are taking those stance with the opening up of the legal machinery. Today, the surface and other things that it is one I spoke to you only on the feet on street and on the collection side, or what we would on cash collection other than. However, now we see that there is a uh, you know both the administration administrative machinery as well as the legal machinery, the courts. They are allowing us to actually issue and take the physical possession of the properties. There are significant number of physical properties that we have taken. The auction has opened. All these things are helping us in terms of actually putting the required pressure, or to have to ask for the money. There is no reason why I have lent. I will not ask for my money. There is a security underlying over there. He needs to either repay me to it, sell it to me, or whatever he wants to do. So sell, sell to the, put it on the auction. So we are using all these machinery to ensure. that these are brought down uh, 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 progressively right but just on this uh, capital phase so we are fairly well uh, mr sah sorry to interrupt but your voice is once again breaking up may we request you to move to the better reception area please can you hear me now yes sir. hello so we can we are you but your voice breaks oh i see just a minute just on the capital rate Uh, we already had 21, 22 percent uh, capital adequacy at uh, Taiwan. So, what is the hurry that we have to raise the money? Couldn't we wait and um, clean up the book a little bit more, grow the book, and we still have time? Why do we need the money so soon? Uh, that that was was my thought. So, I don't know if you could put in some thought on that part. Well, it is a it, 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 it is a money required for the growth. We are starting new verticals. we have stopped doing some businesses which required higher capital and that is the reason why you are seeing this the moment you start if i need a high yielding book i mean how do i do it because if the capital is a constraint to me all this is this everything is interlinked i will start doing it suddenly it will come down below 20 or 18 and you will again ask me what have you done why are you doing right. it So it is important. So, so we take a very, very conscious call in terms of how we want to actually enter the market. It cannot be start and stop. If I enter sure, the sure. market, That's... I have to be there for some time. So in, in the near future, we would like to get into the high yielding, uh, or developer or the corporate book. That's what we. That is we would want. That is that is also high yielding. The affordable is high yielding. That the uh, what Wali spoke about between eight lakh to about fifteen lakh. It's a high yielding book, which is about 11% to about 12.5, 13%, which is what the competition is offering also. In fact, competition is charging much more than what we are actually anticipating. 
just on the Unnati book, uh, what is the difference between the tenure of the old Unnati book and the new ten- Unnati book? New, we have not introduced it. We are going to introduce it. That is the reason that what she was trying to explain, that uh, you will see some results from the uh, third quarter. Uh, it is a different product, uh, completely different product, different underwriting standards, procedures are different, collection strategy is different. So uh, it is going to be a very different way in which the business is handled. And it is not exactly like a prime business that is handled. Sure. Thank you. I'll so get that. This, com- this, this company is very good. It knows how to do prime, but it also needs to actually do as, as a full suite housing finance company. This is also required to be done. Sure. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. As there are no further questions, I would now like to end the conference. Over to Ms. Deepika Gupta Padi for closing comments. Over to you, ma'am. Thank you, everyone, for joining us on the call. If you have any questions unanswered, please feel free to get in touch with Investor Relations. The transcript of this call, as well as the audio of this call, will be uploaded on our website, which is www.pnbhousing.com. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of PNB Housing Finance Limited, that concludes this conference. We thank you all for joining us. And now just connect.